I know what this looks like. It looks weird. You see a guy standing in the woods making a video and it's snowing out. He doesn't have his technical analysis charts like that. You don't even want to listen to this. I bet you guys have all almost left, but you don't even have to watch. The point of this is that you guys just listen to me for a second. Okay. Got some good points for you. So I wanted to talk about a stock that has to do with one of the last videos I just talked about that has to do with the continent of Africa. Now, for those of you that don't know, the population of Africa is 1.3 billion, about four times the population of the United States. And Africa is just now hitting the like the technological revolution of the internet and things like e-commerce and social media and things like that. They're a little behind, not everywhere, but most of that continent is behind. And they're still catching up to what the US and Europe and other country, other areas not europe's not a country i know you guys are gonna get some comments about that but it's it's catching up to that so the fact that africa is catching up to that it lets us see into the future of what's going to happen in africa because it happened here already so we can look there and what i'm looking there is is that there's going to be a big e-commerce platform and hopefully it's not amazon honestly like i i like to see other competition i like to see healthy competition so if it's Amazon ruling the whole world, that, that's going to suck. But hopefully it's not. And that's what this video is about. And it's actually about Jumia. J-M-I-A. It's a stock that I bought around September for less than $10 a share. It went up to like 20 I sold out. I was like, sweet. I sold out. Then it went down. And then it started going up again. I bought in again around uh, $17. That's, that doesn't even matter. That's not the point of this. I, I, I talked too much about that already. But Jumia is a stock that is starting to take over Africa. And Africa is just now getting into e-commerce. And Jumia, it's a company that is based out of Germany, but they do business in Africa. And they're there early. They're making their name. Hopefully, they beat Amazon. It's, it worries me a little bit. That's the one thing is like Amazon has so much capital. They're going to be biggest company in the whole freaking world for who even knows how long. But I'm worried about Amazon. But that's... That's the side thing. That's like the risk of this investment. Jumia is actually just now over COVID. COVID really helped them. So it went from around $8 and now it's around 60 something dollars a share. It's crazy. It just went up so much all in um, the span of like half a year. And I think it's got more growth potential. There's actually a lot of critics like the Motley Fool and other ones like Bloomberg that are kind of saying it's a bad stock kind of saying you shouldn't get into it, uh, saying like their profits aren't that good, things like that. But th that's kind of just, uh, to me, they, they are, they're wrong a lot. And what they're basing it off is that, yeah, Jumia is not like, their revenue is not as good as it should be. However, they're a new company. They're still expanding. You got to look at their market is what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at, it matters. It totally matters. But the company's profits and things like that definitely is something to note. But the market that they're attacking and that they're growing in is four times the size of the United States of America. This could be a bigger company than Amazon, potentially, with the size of the amount of people that could buy from them is huge. And the importance of that is just that Jumia could be the next Amazon. It could be absolutely insane. It's at $60 now, a share right now. And I don't, I can't remember the market cap at the moment. But the market cap could be much more insane. And the one promising thing I saw is they were usually they weren't used. There are a few other competitors that uh, also were doing OK in Am or in Africa. And Jumia recently just started to pull ahead well with the fact that they're getting a lot of small purchases, things that like smaller items. People are making smaller item purchases rather than business pur purchases and commercial purchases through the website. Um, they are now being used for smaller things like maybe a Kleenex. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, like just smaller products, cheaper products. So it means that um, they're starting to be trusted as a a retail online retail website. So that's about it for the video. I just wanted you guys to keep your eye on Jumia, the stock. It's a good one. I'm very excited about it. I'm very bullish on it long term. It's not some stock that you're going to buy in and boom, just triple your money right now like everything. It's the market's so messed up right now. I'm not really dabbling with stocks very much right now because the whole idea that I, I think it's very overvalued right now. I think there's this whole thing where a bunch of people 
have bought in on these stocks like Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Google, um, Netflix, all, Facebook, all these. I think a lot of people have bought in on them. Yes, they're good companies, but the tech companies have just been pushing and pushing this whole rally that we've gone through COVID and showing the numbers of the whole market. People are just looking at these uh, tech stocks as performing so well, but uh, it can't continue. Like they're overvalued at this moment. They're overvalued. How far can they go overvalued? Who knows? This could happen for a year more. It could happen for two years more. But the fact that you, it's important to see that it's going to collapse eventually. It's gonna have a turnaround. The stock market always goes through cycles. This one seems like it's building and building and building. It's it's crazy that it's, it's gonna have a pushback. It's had so many things to fuel it as far as um, all the stimulus checks getting pumped right into that thing. A lot of people are just throwing those down. I know I was earlier, so a lot of people are doing that. Just so many uh, low interest rates, There, there's many, healthy reasons for why the stock market just keeps going up and up and up it's like it's like all the indicators make sense to why it's doing this however it can't continue is the main point the place that doesn't make sense is that it's like you're pumping this person full of adrenaline and they're just going with the low interest rates and the stimulus checks you're they're just going and going but sometime and if you don't keep pumping them with adrenaline they're gonna crash and they're gonna fall right in the snow that i'm in right now and and that's when I'm waiting to buy. That's why I'm out of the stock market for the most part. I'm holding Jumia because you don't know. You can't. No one can, No one knows the future. No one can predict it. So who even knows this could last a few more years. It could last all the way through uh, the Joe Biden pri presidency. It. Who even knows? They, they could artificially keep this thing going. It, it's when they choose to stop injecting the market. It's going to crash. And I'm going to be there waiting for that crash to buy in. So then it, when it regulates back to normal, it has the big up, it has the bubble burst or whatever you call it, goes down. Then it has that correction where it, it returns to the mean. And I'm looking for it after it dumps. That's when I'm buying in. I'm saving up. Um, I don't have a lot of cash right now. I've talked about that in videos before, but this thing is going to go crazy. Um, I don't know how long. No one knows how long this they're going to keep ejecting. Um, that's why I have a small amount because once it stops, could be very ugly for the stock market there could be a very ugly recession and just be ready for it i think it's it's kind of obvious it's going to happen sometime soon and it's not something to be scared of it always happens but if you guys are watching this video you're like i'm sure you're not scared like if you're watching a small youtuber making investment videos like if you're watching me over like graham Stephens and things like that then you definitely are really smart because who even takes the time to look for a channel like me if there's already all those other ones that are just like I picture the people that watch them are just like a little bit. They know a little bit. But if you're watching me, you actually like dove for like some small investment channels. There's you watch a lot. I bet I, I'm starting. To, I'm trying to figure out my audience. So if you guys watch this far eight minutes in, that's crazy. I didn't even expect this video to get that long. Thank you for watching. Whew, I'm running out of talking breath. Thanks, guys. 37 subscribers strong. Maybe someday we'll see 50. <laughs> but yeah, peace out, guys. Bye.